and I'm on the beach here. It's a very special place to be and I wanted to share a little bit of this place with you. One of the reasons it is so special to me is that this place provided inspiration for our song Road in Majesty. And I'm going to do a, a re-recording of Road in Majesty for this year and I'd love to say that called a Celtic Melody and uh, we just love this place and one of the things that really inspires me about this place this vastness, is just how I feel like I'm getting back to nature when I stand on this beach. I can't stand on this beach without lifting up my voice with praise and adoration to the Lord, the creator of all things, and the sky, the sea, the sand, the mountains, everything here just reminds me of how great our God is. This is such a big beach and yet it is a tiny speck in what he has created. Our God is people and again it seems so great, so big. So I'm going to share with you a few shots and I hope you enjoy. the Atlantic Ocean, North Atlantic, and over in the distance here, facing eastwards, you'll see Horn Head, and then there is the mansion. The first time I ever saw this place, it was at a submarine that went back to somewhere. I can't remember what the incident was, but it had been rescued from somewhere. There was a submarine being towed out there, first time I ever saw it. There's my Tasha in the picture. She loves any beach, particularly this one. Out now, what you'll see is the islands. There are islands off here. The furthest one is more than seven miles out to sea, and it's Tory Island. I always think it's in the shape of a dragon. The closest some of the other islands, Inish Bothman is the biggest one. And we come right round. I have been on two of the world's top ten beaches. There's a list of top ten beaches in the world, and I've been on two of them. And honestly, I don't think that they can compare to Ballyness. I believe it's one of the world's best kept secrets. Here are the dunes. The dunes are massive. The dunes are lovely. The dunes, the, the scenery here, as far as the dunes and the beach are concerned, tends to change every winter. What they remain. Well, there they are. You know what it says about our God? doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. The God who created all of this, the earth and the heaven, the universe, everything that ever existed, our God spoke it into existence. He is a great God and I'll tell you my friend that that is the God who stooped to rescue you. And if you don't know him as your saviour today, you can. Because he went to Calvary, he gave so that you might live. If only you open your heart and your life to accept him as your Savior. Could I encourage you to reach out to him today? 